Hi folks, I'm John and I'm just going to show you how to measure the running belt on a machine. So you would need to do this if, uh, if we ask you to measure the running belt because we don't know the dimensions. And uh, there's a technique to doing it which I'm going to show you. So to do it, what you need is a tape measure, the metric one. I tend to work in metric, it's easier than uh, feet and inches. You need a crayon or some kind of marker that you can leave a mark on the edge of the running belt with. And also you need to remove an end cap from the machine. You might need a screwdriver to get the end cap off. So the process is like this. First of all, get your tape measure. Do the easy dimension first, which is the width. And this is 495 millimetres. And you always double check your measurements. So let's do that again, or get someone else to check it. That's always good, 495 millimetres. The next dimension I'm going to check is the overall length of it. Now this is tricky to measure because obviously half of the belt goes underneath the machine. So this is how you do it. First of all, put a mark randomly on the edge of the running belt and then push that towards the back of the machine. Get your tape measure and measure off one metre. So I'm going to take the edge of the belt to my mark, measure off a metre, which is here, put another mark here. With my crayon, there it is. And now I'm going to move my mark here in the back and get my tape measure, measure off another metre. And basically keep going, measuring off one metre intervals. Now you might measure off two metres, you might measure three metres, it depends on the size of your belt. But you'll to come to a point where the gap between your most recent mark and the first mark you made is less than a metre, as is the case here. So in this case I'm just going to measure the difference and this is 830 millimetres. So to get the overall length, it's one metre plus another metre plus 830. So that's 2830 millimetres or 283 centimetres. And you would double check it or get someone else to check it. It's absolutely critical you get these dimensions right. So to check it, you've still got your marks on the belt. So we should have one metre. There we are, there's one metre. There's a second metre, looking good, and the last dimension should be 830, which it is, 830. Okay, so that gives me my width and my length. The only other thing I need to check is what the adjustment is on the rear roller, which is why we've taken off the cap here. And you can see at the end of the rear roller that this roller is adjusted roughly halfway between the distances between the screw there. If your roller is fully adjusted, then we need to know that. In other words, if you're not, if you're not seeing this roughly in the middle, take a photograph, send it to me, and we can interpret that. And we, we can compensate for the amount of stretch on your running belt. So just to recap, you measure it on the machine, under tension, you don't need to adjust any of the tensions to do this. Get your tape measure, measure off one meter intervals, measure the difference, measure your width, and then just check the amount of adjustment that you have. And ideally, you should have an equal amount of adjustment on the rear roller, and then we can make your running belt and we know it's gonna fit. That's it, good luck.